Hi everybody! I'm back again. Um, it's only been two days since I uploaded last time. Uh, let's see if I can keep this up and upload every other day. Uh, no promises. Um, today I'm actually doing a random word generator picks my build challenge. My best friend challenged me to do this one. So shout out to her, she knows who she is. <laughs> Um, and uh, I'm gonna insert a clip of um, when I did the random word generator thing um, and my word the word that I got was grave so immediately I thought of a cemetery and I also decided that I wanted to build like a gothic style church so I googled up some pictures I'm gonna uh, put the link to the picture that I used down below in the description box so you can just see what I went after, what I tried to copy basically, um, just to get inspiration from. So this is me building the shell of the church. I, I decided to start with the church just because it it takes longer. Um, it was easier to just start with this, see where, where on the lot I wanted to place it and then base the cemetery off of that. Um, I'm actually very proud of how this build came out. You can see me fiddling around with the roof here because in the picture that I had there were like five roof pieces um, and I couldn't really make that work because they weren't sticking up in the right places. So I decided to use these little things. I'm not sure what they're called. <laughs> Uh, and then the original build had like a cross on top here, but I decided to just go for this uh, little roof decoration that I found. Um, so yeah, I'm building in the vampire world currently. I don't remember which packs I used for this build exactly, but I know there are a lot of vampire stuff in this build, like the, uh, uh, I think the pillars are from vampires. Um, the windows, the smaller windows are from Strangerville, I think. And then I don't remember exactly where the other ones are from. Um, so yeah, this is the... Uh, it's. Uh, I think I'm almost done with the roofing here, actually. Yeah, I'm getting close to it anyway. So um, we're going to move on to the inside here pretty soon. And I liked this little touch that I saw in the picture that I used with five roof pieces that are a little bit different of different heights. I thought it was I thought that looked pretty cool actually. So I was pretty proud of myself when I did that. Um, so I'm paint I'm doing the outside walls here, and then we're gonna move on to the inside pretty soon. Um, I struggled a little bit with choosing the flooring here. Um, I didn't really find anything that I liked uh, until I tried this. Vampire, I think those are that floor is from vampires too, actually. Um, so this church is gonna be pretty dark. There's not a lot of lights on the inside later, and you can. I'm gonna change the lighting to evening. I think it was. I think it was actually night when I do the screenshots later. Um, those will be inserted at the end of the video as usual. So. You'll see what this looks like when all the lights are turned off and it's it looks pretty dark actually. So I'm starting to work on the inside here. Um, just adding some, some light so I can actually see what I'm doing but I'll be deleting those later. And then I think I went for, yeah, I went for a flooring from uh, Realm of Magic. Um, I thought it looked, I thought the pattern was pretty cool, how it was curved like that. It looked like a floor that could be in a church somewhere because those floors in um, in churches usually are pretty decorative and like just a little bit fancy. <laughs> um, these benches are from Romantic Garden, I think. And then there's this, I decided to build a little altar <laughs> just to make it creepy. And then I made the lights red to make it even more creepy. <laughs> Um, and you can see me struggling a little bit to place these candles right here. I couldn't see if they were at the right height and yeah, but I made it work eventually. <laughs> um, so I really like this altar thing. I thought that was pretty suitable for this build. And here you can see me adding the wall lights. And those are the only lights that are going to be in this build. You can see that it gets a little bit more darker here when I remove all those ceiling lights that I used just to see what I was doing. 
So I'm adding a few sculptures here from Vampires. I think I'm gonna add another one from Romantic Garden Stuff Pack later on because I didn't like that little fairy. Yeah, I'm switching out the fairy right here with this male statue instead. Because I like it when statues are like one is faced left, one is faced forward and one is faced right. So that they're all like, I don't know, I just like that. So they're all looking in different directions. Um, and then I decided actually to try and make this build look like it could be like a wedding, a wedding venue. Um, so I'm adding a few flowers along the aisle here and adding that little arch with the greenery at the front of the aisle. Um, I thought that was a really nice touch actually. So you could do your wedding here. Do a vampire wedding maybe. I think they would approve of this. <laughs> uh, and then the entrance of the church here. I decided to add these fountains, I think. Um, they're like really tiny fountains because they reminded me of those little things with holy water that are in that that are in regular churches as well. Um, not that these would have holy water in them because vampires don't like that, but uh, <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Um, and then putting the church on the little foundation here, um, adding stairs later on, and doing some landscaping. Um, I struggled a little bit with. Um, choosing the, actually with doing the little walkways, you're gonna see that in a little bit here. This is me adding some, I don't know what these are called. They're like beams, kind of, that they have in churches, like arches. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're called in English, I know what they're called in Swedish, because that's my native language. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, so. This church is two floors high, and then when you're sitting on that lower floor, you can just look up and then see all the way up to the ceiling, which I thought was pretty dope. Um, and then I'm adding these rose bushes and thorns from vampires as well. So yeah, there's a lot of vampire stuff in this. Um, placing this on the center of the lot, kind of anyway, and then doing the little walkway. And this is where I struggled a little bit because the grass was so green compared to, to the grass that was already on the lot. And I didn't really like that. I wanted it to be some kind of separation. So I'm trying to add some fences here. Almost went for this one. Um, but then I discovered that it looked a lot like the one that I was going to use for the family grave plots. I think that's what you would call them. So I went for this uh, stone wall very short wall instead and uh, now I'm starting to build the walkways though they look like upside down crosses and that's on purpose it was a happy accident at first but then I decided to just go for it um, because it's only suitable uh, so the lot traits for this build is later on gonna be like cursed and vampire nexus and just bad stuff <laughs> I think it was both cursed and haunted at the same time <laughs> And here you can see me doing all these family graves. I decided that at first I was gonna make like each plot, um, each grave plot have this little fence around them. But then I decided that it was just gonna be a few of them. And these cypresses are actually, I think they actually had the name grave in the title of them. I think they were called like gra graveyard cypresses. So I was like, well, I have to use them. <laughs> And then I'm starting to add some graves here. These gravestones are all from vampires as well. Um, so you can see me doing some terrain painting there and then doing these family graves uh, where there are multiple people in one plot. So I'm adding like three spots in each of these. I could probably fit four, but yeah. So all this brown terrain paint is supposed to be where they have like dug the grave. <laughs> I know, it's kind of creepy. Um, yeah, uh, I actually really like how this build turned out. I think it's one of the best ones I've done in quite a while, to be honest. It was nice to just, you know, step out of my comfort zone a little, because I've never built a cemetery in The Sims before, and never a church either. So this was, um, <laughs> this was a build full of firsts for me. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, just adding the final touches of terrain paint here, moving over some of the graves because they were a little bit too close to this walkway. And then I'm starting to add decorations to all the graves. Um, I don't know if this is a thing in the US, but here in Sweden when it's um, Halloween or we call it All Hallows Eve, um, that is when you go to visit your relatives graves and then you put flowers and candles and stuff on them um, just to pay tribute to them to just remember them a little take some time to do that um, so I'm adding these little wreaths I'm adding some flowers um, yeah so I think these wreaths are yeah they're all from seasons and then I think most of the flowers I used later are gonna be from base game um, so I thought this was a, little, a really nice touch and you can see later when I turn the lighting to night, I think it was, um, that all these lights look, look really cool in the cemetery when it's dark outside. So I would suggest uh, visiting this plot at night because that's when it just, it looks really awesome. It looks pretty creepy to be honest, um, which I'm happy about. Um, so I'm adding a lot of the flowers here, a lot of the decorations, just to, uh, you know, make it look like these people that lie here are actually loved. <laughs> loved and missed. I know, um, uh, it's a little bit macabre, but yeah, I'm going into the screenshots here. So if you liked this video, please comment, like, subscribe, do all those fun things. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I enjoyed it building it and I will talk to you all in my next video.